almost 75% of BYU students speak a second language, and a new group on campus is using those skills to help the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. BYU Weekly's Brenna Donnelly shows us how students are learning to serve in the vineyard. Membership of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has increased by more than one million in the last decade, and most of that growth is outside of the United States. More international members means big changes for the church, and recently the First Presidency did something they haven't done before. They asked for help from members worldwide through a program called Helping in the Vineyard. This is something that's new that the church is doing, that we're having presenting the needs of the church to members of the church, where they can come and select different activities and use their skills and their time and talents however they want to. They need members to get on a computer and help them translate LDS materials into foreign languages. Lucky for them, Brigham Young University's student body is 70% bilingual, 98% LDS, and 100% computer savvy. Sounds like a match made in, well, heaven. Oh my gosh, These, this BYU ISERF group is incredible. We love them. They have gone above and beyond. They're out recruiting, they're out telling people. They're so excited about it. These students are translating church manuals, family history newsletters, and even Mormon messages into foreign languages. So no one feels excluded from the message. Like if you hang around in the park, are people nice to you? Yes, very, very nice. So people say hello? Yes, even get hugs. I even get a few hugs. Really? Cuando anda por el parque, la gente lo trata bien? Sí, me tratan bien, muy, muy bien. ¿Lo saludan? Sí, y a veces hasta me abrazan. ¿En serio? ¿Mina a nata ni sinsetsu ni shite kureru? Mmm, mina sinsetsu da yo. Aisatsu shite kureru. Ah, hug datte nankai ka aru yo. Honta? As we translate and we help them, we're helping spread the gospel to people all over the world and helping them to receive more of an education on gospel topics that they wouldn't typically receive. The BYU branch of the Vineyard meets twice a week to work together to serve, but they say all it takes is a computer to join the cause. Anyone who wants to serve or like help in the church can do so at home, whether they live in Australia or the United States or Africa. It makes me feel good that I can just spend a little bit of time, even if it's just five or 10 minutes on the website, doing indexing or translating or something, and it has an impact on someone across the world. Volunteers in the vineyard don't all speak a second language. Some work on photo tagging, testing out new church technology and family history indexing. Emily Montgomery wants to serve a mission someday, so for now, she's preparing by helping in the vineyard. You know, missionary work isn't just the actual having a name tag going out in the mission field, but there's also other ways. We hear a lot about uh, member missionary. Well, I found for me um, that indexing and doing genealogy work and temple work is a big uh, way that I can be a missionary. The church is becoming more international every year, and BYU's Vineyard told me they are proud to be at the start of a worldwide effort. I haven't been able to meet the people that see the other side of it, but I hope maybe one day I'll be able to, to meet someone and say, yeah, my life was blessed by this. And, that would be that'd be cool to say I was at the beginning of it. You know, the Lord does take small and simple things and makes them go a great distance. Brenna Donnelly, BYU Weekly.